Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well. This is a part of the interview preparation kit series on Hackerang, and this is an arrays question called left rotation. This is a very important question for interviews, as most companies do ask this question in the coding rounds or in the interviews because this is a very conceptual question. Like it's important for you to know how to manipulate arrays, and this question does exactly that. So let's start with this. In this question, you're using left rotate operation on the array, which essentially means that if there's an array called one, two, three, four, five, and there's there are two left rotations, then it would be three, four, five, one, two. So imagine this to be enclosed in a circle. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, one, two, and now you just skip from here two steps and start from the three. You just skip from here two steps and start with three. So it would be three, four, five, one, two. So that's essentially left rotation. If there was a left rotation of seven elements, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then it would start with three, four, five, one, two. So in this question, they've given us array A and an integer D, which basically tells us the number of rotations which we have to perform. So let's start with this question. The first thing I would do is I would contain the first two elements or the first d elements in an array so i would take res like result in an array which is from 0 to d okay so this contains the number of elements by which we are going to rotate it so considering this as the example res contains 1 and 2 right now after storing the first d elements in result we can run a loop from the next element till the end so for i in range now for this i would run it for like the length of this is 5 and there were two rotations so it's 5 minus 3 so length of a minus d which is essentially 3 for the example so now a of i is equal to a of i plus d so here the loop runs from 0 to 3 considering the example which is of 5 elements it runs from 0 to 3 so i is 0 here and i plus d is 2. So the element which is on index 2, which is the third in third element, gets stored at index 0. And similarly, for the loop, it goes on up until the third element. And now we do this a of minus d. So in Python, we have this thing where if you put the index as minus 1, it shows the last index and minus n it shows the length minus n index so when we so when we put minus d here it shows length minus d so essentially in this question if we consider d as 2 for the example this would be a of index minus 2 which is 5 minus 2 3 so here from d we are going till the last element so it's going from minus d which is the third element till the last element which is 5 and we assign result here the first two elements that we stored in result are now the last two elements of a and now we can return a let's submit the code so in this question the more important thing is that we know how to manipulate this array and how to rotate it like over here we first took the d elements stored it in another array and then we just brought the rest of the elements to the first position and pasted the other array behind this. So, okay, we got an error here. Let's check what's the problem. Here, I think I forgot to remove it out of the loop because we do this only once where we stick the resultant array from minus d till the end. Now it should work. Okay. Yep. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the explanation and you want more content, then please like and subscribe to the video. It would mean a lot to me. And see you in the next one. Thank you.